been an evolving story through the years as dinosaurs are studied in new and different ways. Historically, people thought of dinosaurs as cold-blooded animals. More recently, people have put dinosaurs in an intermediate category, not quite warm-blooded, not quite cold-blooded. And what my research has found is that dinosaurs are essentially indistinguishable from mammals in their metabolism from what we can learn about them. Bone microanatomy is the study of bone under a microscope. So it's the study of bone on really, really fine scales, looking at cells, looking at blood vessels, and looking at growth rings that are preserved in the bones even through fossilization. When you look at a bone under a microscope, a dinosaur bone, it's going to contain rings. Those are going to be analogous to tree rings in that they indicate pauses in growth throughout the year. So maybe in the winter or in the dry season, the bone stops growing and it lays down a ring rather than laying down bone tissue. And if you count those rings, you can get an estimate of how old the dinosaur was when it died. And you can see the spacing between the rings, which indicates how much the dinosaur grew in a year. My most relevant finding is that dinosaurs grew rapidly like mammals throughout the year. And this suggests that their metabolism was a lot like a mammal's and that they were warm-blooded. My next step is to test the idea that dinosaurs were warm-blooded by studying more bones of more species of dinosaur under the microscope. There's hundreds of dinosaur species known today, but what we know of dinosaur growth really only comes from a handful of species. So we need to study more in order to see if the idea that all dinosaurs are warm-blooded holds up.